Taking a walk in downtown San Luis Obispo is not something we give a lot of thought to, but for someone with a disability, it's one obstacle after the next. KSBY's Dustin Kleeman shows us the challenges our neighbors face and what the city is doing to make life more accessible. To view the world through the eyes of Peter, you would have to forget about sight entirely. I only have a little bit of sight on the corners of my eyes at this point. But it doesn't stop him from traveling. I've been visually impaired to one degree or another all my life. Wait. Walk sign is on the cross. These sounds cue his navigation. I take pride in my independence. And he's garnered a nickname throughout the years. Oh, a human GPS. Yeah, I've memorized a lot of things, so I always tell people that when they're directing me somewhere in, around here, I can do a better job than the GPS. It's not without challenges. Through the streets of San Luis Obispo, a number of intersections are not ADA compliant. Many are missing correct curbing, walking signals, and sound alerts. I really won't know if nobody's on the street and there aren't too many cars on one side of the intersection or the other. I just kind of take my chance. And it's led to some close calls. And of course, I've had other people tell me once in a while that I almost got hit, but I, I wasn't aware of it. Of the city's 2,436 intersection crossings, 22% do not have any ADA ramps, and half of all ramps don't meet ADA standards. For the city, Wait. updating streets to the American Disabilities Act requires significant funding. Each new project must fall in line with ADA standards. And we also have kind of an ongoing transition plan where we invest in upgrading curb ramps, sidewalks, and other features to current ADA best practices as our funding allows. Funding though can be a tight squeeze. From the push buttons to the raised padding, a corner can cost tens of thousands of dollars to upgrade fully. So we look for partnerships with development projects. If there's private development projects occurring near the corner or within the vicinity of an intersection, we'll look for partnerships to try to upgrade those uh, that signal equipment. Though the city says it is committed to upgrading as funding becomes available. Raymond Castro is the president of the People First Group of San Luis Obispo and an active participant at Pathpoint. We're like one big family here. He's an advocate for people with disabilities, and he says another issue he finds is some intersections don't have visual timers or lack enough time for those with disabilities to cross the street. Castro says the city has made strides in making streets accessible. He says when he moved to San Luis Obispo, curbs didn't even have cuts for him to access sidewalks. We need money to do everything, and the city don't have that much money in the budget to take care of everything. So I know they're doing their best, but somehow they need to allocate more money in the budget. Over in downtown, armed with his cane and a radio. On a plane trip for you about 10 years ago, right? Peter is on his way to the post office. In a town he loves, Peter says he is grateful for the people who keep an eye on him and reach out to ask if he needs help. That's the way this this place is. It's a it's a community and peop, with people looking out for each other. Appreciate what you have. I mean, all of us have challenges. Some are more visible than others, but whatever it is, it's like that old Carter family song, keep on the sunny side of life. In downtown San Luis Obispo, I'm Dustin Kleeman, KSBY News. The city is putting forth nearly $1.9 million over the next two years in its budget for bicycle and pedestrian improvements.